Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Conto series. In the last tutorial, I explained you the concept of transient, persistent and detached states of an object in a Hibernate application. The concept I explained was very simple. An object which is created using a new operator is considered as a transient object till the statement you associate that object with the Hibernate session. An object in a transient state simply means that it is not yet associated with any Hibernate session. And the second most important thing is there is no corresponding record present in the database table for a transient object. Once you associate a transient object with the Hibernate session as I'm doing over here, the state of a transient object changes from transient to a new state known as a persistent state and the object will remain in the persistent state till the statement you close the session and the good thing about an object in a persistent state which you saw very clearly in the early tutorial was that whenever you make any modification to a persistent object hibernate would make sure to sync up all that modification with the corresponding record which is present in the database table by firing an update query. So this is the most important property of a persistent object. When you close a session, the state of a persistent object again changes from persistent to a new state known as a detached state. An object in a detached state simply means that there is a corresponding record present in the database table for it but is not associated with any Hibernate session. So in short, an object in a transient state is not having any corresponding record present in the database table and is not associated with a Hibernate session. An object in a persistent state is having a corresponding record present in the database table and is associated with a Hibernate session. An object in a detached state is having a corresponding record present in the database table but is not associated with any Hibernate session. Alright, so so far so good. Let's proceed further. Here I showed you an example of all these states using a save function that is when you insert a record into the database table. What about a case when you would retrieve a record from the database table using a get function? Let me quickly take off all these lines from here and paste here these two statements. Here I've written code to retrieve a student record which is having student value ID as 2 from the student table, which means this record. So when I will run this Hibernate application, Hibernate would fetch the student record which is having student value ID as 2 from the student table. And you know all that in detail because we covered all database operations including get function in the previous tutorials. But the point to note over here is Hibernate says when you get an object using a get function, that object lives in a persistent state. And the object would stay in a persistent state till the point you close the session. And you know the best thing about persistent state. Once an object is in a persistent state, after that, if you make any modification to that object, Hibernate would make sure to sync up that modification with the corresponding record present in the database table by firing an update query. Say for example, if I paste this statement here, what will happen if I run this Hibernate application? Hibernate would retrieve the student record which is having student value ID as 2 from the student table. Then it will display the student name for the retrieved student record. Then after seeing this statement, it will fire an update query to modify the student name from gone to 1 to modifying student name having student id value as 2 because of the persistent state of this student object let me quickly run it and show you this thing 
In the logs, if you observe, it fired a select query for this cat function. Then it displayed the student name for the retrieved student object. Then it fired an update query for this statement. Let us check in the database whether it has done things as per our expectation or not. Cool, it has modified the name from gone to one to modifying student name having student ID as two for student ID two, student record. Cool. Now one last thing. What will happen if I write this statement here? Here I'm simply deleting the student record which is having student value ID as two from the student table by passing the student object to the delete function. The point to note here is, Hibernate says, if you pass a persistent object to the delete function, then the state of that object would change from persistent to the transient state. And this is very important to know about. In the next tutorial, I would cover the detached state of a Hibernate object in a little more depth. Guys, thank you for liking my tutorials. If you have any queries or feedback, please put them below the video or simply write to me on this ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Conto Series and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial.